Today, I'm going to be giving you a flip through of Artistic Pursuits, the art curriculum we'll be using for the upcoming school year. While you're here, take a look at my massive art closet. Let's turn the camera around so you can see what's in this book, guys. Here we have Artistic Pursuits. This is what we will be using for art for the 2022-2023 school year. It is listed for grades K through three. I did not mind that. I have a fourth and a fifth grader. We have never done any form of art curriculum. This will also help incorporate my kindergartner. I'm completely okay with that. This is volume one. There are eight volumes. Art for children, building a visual vocabulary is volume one. It uses text and video art instruction. There are 18 projects um, featuring mastered works in 12 text lessons and art material instruction in six video lessons. That is the basis of this curriculum. When you open it up, this one, this is a hardcover book. When you open it up, you will have two CDs. One is a Blu-ray and one is a DVD. Awesome. I will show you the details of what's on the DVD at the end. So stick around. Here we go. Flipping through. What you find is what it says here. It says start with volume one and follow history in chronological order through volumes two through eight or start with volume one and then skip to any other volume featuring the historical period of your choice. What I do love about this is these volumes go through historical periods and what the artwork looked like for that specific historical period. So your child is also getting history. So it's basically an art history curriculum, not just art. Okay. When you go through here, it has your table of contents. Another thing that I really like about it is it gives you a material list of what you will need. I did and am going to finish purchasing items off of this list. However, I did not get exactly what is on this list. Art supplies can be super expensive so i found things that were cheaper as i said before with with my girls doing art we're just getting started i don't want to put hundreds and hundreds of dollars into a materials list but this gives you a guide of what materials you will need for this curriculum some of the things i doubled up and got more of since i have three children that will be doing this curriculum Household items that we all have around typically are paper towel, a container of water, handful, I mean a handheld two-hole sharpener. That is it, okay? Teaching Simply, this gives you a breakdown of how to use this curriculum, what it goes over. Some of the things that it does cover are how to use the art on this, uh, the art supplies on this list. It also talks about different shapes and different colors. It also discusses a vocabulary of art, which is super important. So this lays the foundation. Volume one is the foundational work for the other volumes that come after it. Um, each lesson is simple and short. Here it says it takes about 10 minutes of time. As I said, I will show you the DVD in just a second. Welcome to the world of art. It tells you which lesson. So here is lesson one. It also tells you what video number you would need to refer to for that specific lesson. This one, lesson one is all about watercolors. In this box, which is common in every lesson, it tells you what supplies you will need for that specific lesson. And it gives you the steps for you to do it. Um, here, the first step is to select your favorite objects from your room and look for things you love. Next is you view the video. And at the end of the video, it gives you further instructions. This box here is prep for lesson number two. It tells you all of the supplies that you need to get, what you will be doing, how it brings awareness to your child. Also, it gives you an outside environment. So these, each of these lessons can be done inside with household items, or you could go outside and do it according to what this paragraph says. Artist Compose is going to be your lesson number two. They will have a reading for that, which is a couple of pages, and then you get into your activity. As you can see, the reading will take you less than 10 minutes to do. You talk about what is going on here in the picture, and then here is your box with your supplies for you to do the drawing. So with lesson two, there is no video instruction. You get video instruction about every other lesson within this curriculum. Same thing. There is lesson number three, no video instruction, you're reading and learning. This 
curriculum still, even though it's the foundational work and the other ones bring about the historical aspects of art, it still throws in history within art. Not as much as the further volumes, but still you get some history. I love the pictures. There is also tons of diversity. So here we are in lesson four and you will go to video number two. Here's your supply list. And this page right here is all you will be doing for lesson four. There are lots and lots of great graphics in here. It talks a lot about this is 19th century France. Photos, how your children will go through, uh, say photos, pictures, <laughs> and how your child will go through and look at those pictures and determine what is going on, interpret those pictures. There's lots of good detail here. Another thing that I love about it is the cultural diversity, guys. We have Native American here, Mexico, 20th century Mexico. Love that. There's paper folding, you have children here. It goes through so many fun things in this book. Um, this one, I am assuming I did not read it, but related to, you know, the United States of America, maybe um, Fourth of July type of thing here. Then we have sports, ballerinas, y'all know we love that more diversity this one talks about portraits i love the diversity within these books guys and then as you get toward the end here's more self-portraits more diversity and you get to the end it has objectives which is the purpose of this what is your child going to learn with each lesson so lesson one here lesson seven all the way through lesson 18. 18 lessons six lessons have videos that go along with them Fine Arts Credits, and it tells you what page and who gets the credit for that specific piece of art. And then here are your shape templates, which you will, you, you will use in, I believe it's lessons one through three, if I'm not mistaken. Before we move on to the videos, I wanted to point out that there are 18 lessons here, and it is set up for you to do one lesson per week that will cover you for the entire first semester of your school year with the lessons being so short so you consider 10 minutes for each specific lesson and then another 15 to 20 minutes maybe for your child to create whatever specific project they are to do for that lesson you could realistically do this curriculum twice a week if you wanted to do so and it would take you about an hour for your full week then you could move on to volume number two and so when you think about kindergarten through third grade, all eight volumes would take you through that time frame. That is essentially four years of school. But if you move faster, there's less time. They do have a curriculum that is set up for um, middle school, which is fourth through sixth grade. They also have seventh and eighth grade, and then it goes ninth through 12th. So there are lots of options for this art curriculum. Now we're gonna move on to the DVDs. Okay guys, this is what the DVD looks like when you first put it in. Now my computer is super old, disclaimer, so it's gonna look a little bit different, you know, when you put it in, if you actually put it in TV. But when you get in, it plays a cute little song. You can select your video. There are videos one through three here, and then videos four through six. I'm just going to click on, I'm gonna go to the first video, and I'll show you the times. So at the bottom here, you may not be able to see it, but my cursor is here. The total time for all of the videos is 22 minutes and 33 seconds. So that gives you a really good idea of how long the lessons are. It's gonna start out and tell you which lesson it is. This is watercolors. It plays great, talks about the materials that they're using. So that's what they're learning in this first volume one. I'm gonna fast forward here and go toward the end of the video. At the end of every video, you pull out the materials that are for that lesson, and it is showing you how to use those materials. This is more super interactive. My girls are really going to enjoy this part, but they can watch this video one time through, and then when you get your art supplies out, or you can take your art supplies out before and have your child kind of watching the video and doing the art at the same time, that is also an option. It kind of gives them a guide as to what they're doing. So. This vid first video is about seven and a half minutes. That takes up almost half of the entire video. So all of the other lessons, anywhere between five to seven minutes. A really good length, so you go through the lesson and then you do whatever project is set for the lesson as well. 
toward the end of every lesson, it stops and it says they're gonna say it's time for you to create your own artwork based on the lesson that was just taught. This one, they're gonna gather their favorite objects and they will start to paint those objects. There is an opportunity for you to pause this DVD and just allow your child to do some of the work and then restart it, pause it again, just however you feel like doing it. And it walks them through what they're supposed to do, the steps that they just learned again. We are at about six and a half minutes on this video, so there's one more minute left of showing your child, recapping what they just learned within that lesson.